Hi everyone, thanks for clicking and welcome back to my channel. This video will be a quick one and we'll be talking about the ACAS, also known as TCAS. And as usual, we'll only be covering the aspects that we pilots need to know, alright? Before we get started though, kindly consider helping the channel grow by subscribing and liking the video if you have found it helpful. So without any further ado, let's get started. ACAS stands for Airborne Collision and Avoidance System. TCAS stands for Traffic Alert and Collision Avoidance System. ACAS is the name ICAO refers to this system. The principal manufacturer refers to it as TCAS. So the names are used interchangeably. Now, all commercial air transport turbine-powered aircraft greater than 5,700 kg maximum takeoff mass or with more than 19 seats uh, passengers must have at least TCAS-2. TCAS-2 detects intruders in the aircraft vicinity, assesses the uh, collision risk and presents warnings to the crew in the form of TAs, traffic alerts, and RAs, resolution advisory, such as Climb! 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 And so on. Thus, RA or Resolution Advisory offers maneuvering advice in the vertical plane to resolve conflicts. If your aircraft and the intruder both have mode S data link transponders, the system will coordinate the RAs to provide complementary vertical avoidance instructions. Now, let's have a look at the principle of operation. Well, TCAS2 operates on the secondary radar principle using the normal SSR frequencies 1030 MHz and 1090 MHz but in an air-to-air -air role. Using this principle, the TCAS creates two protective three-dimensional bubbles around the aircraft, as shown in front of you right now in the screen. Aircraft Equipment For aircraft to be visible to a TCAS-equipped aircraft, they must have a minimum of a mode A transponder. If the transponder is switched off or for any reason unserviceable, the intruding aircraft is invisible to the TCAS equipment and a collision risk exists. Mode A transmits no height information and therefore the information available is TAs only. Traffic! Traffic! Mode C transponders equipped intruders broadcast height information to the TCAS and the system becomes three dimensional and can now give both TAs and RAs. Traffic alerts and resolution advisory. Mode S transponder TCAS equipped aircraft also broadcast height information and allow a discrete data link to be established between the two aircraft. This data link will allow avoidance maneuvers to be mutually resolved. Operation The range of the intruder is determined by the time lapse between the transmission of the interrogation and receiving the response. An interrogation signal is sent out once approximately every second. However, in densely populated airspace, where many aircraft are being monitored, the interrogation period is extended to once every 5 seconds, with priority given to the closest. The normal detection range is about 30 nautical mile, reducing to 5 nautical mile only when operating in reduced surveillance mode. System interconnections Well, the TGAS has feeds from the following systems. First, the radio altimeter to modify resolution advisories received when in close proximity to the ground. And also, it's worth noting that no instructions at all are given when below 400 feet AGL radio altimeter. Also, no descent RAs are given below 1000 feet AGL radio altimeter, and also no increased rate of descent commands will be given below 1450 AGL. Next, we have aircraft configuration. The TCAS will also receive gear and flaps position in addition to aircraft performance. When the aircraft has gear and flap deployed, its climb performance will be reduced. So TCAS will avoid giving climb demands for an RA. Next, we have air data computer or ADC. A feed from ADC tells the ACAS the aircraft height so that at high altitude, it will not give a climbing RA if the aircraft is close to its performance ceiling. And last but not least, we have the IRS, or the Inertial Reference System. A further feed from the IRS gives inertial vertical acceleration to amend any climb or descent rates. Now let's talk about the TAs and RAs. As we have previously mentioned, TAs stand for Traffic Advisory, which exists when an intruder penetrates the outer bubble 
caution area and is between 45 to 35 seconds from the collision area. TAs appear as a solid amber circle on the navigation display and are accompanied by synthetic voice Traffic! Traffic! Resolution advisory, on the other hand, exists when an intruder penetrates the inner bubble warning area and is between 35 to 15 seconds from the collision area. RAs appear as solid red rectangle on the navigation display and accompanied by various synthetic voice warning such as. Also, please keep in mind, if pilots receive simultaneously an instruction to maneuver from both ATC and RA and they conflict, the advice given by TCAS should be followed. RAs may be disregarded only when the pilot visually identifies the potentially conflicting traffic and decides that no deviation is necessary. Okay? So ladies and gentlemen, this brings us to the end of this quick video. If you have found it helpful, kindly consider helping the channel grow by subscribing and liking the video. If you have any questions, please feel free to leave them in the comment section below. And as always, until the next video, see ya.